Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome. This is video number 186 Basic Data Analysis in SPSS. And this is lecture number 3. And uh, in today's lecture, I'm going to show how to convert raw data into a grouped data. Sometimes uh, we have a lot of data in one file, and uh, it is very difficult to tabulate that, uh, but uh, we can do that uh, easily in SPSS. My dear followers and uh, members of this group, kindly uh, watch this video from the beginning to the end so that you could learn how can you analyze quantitative data, especially when you tabulate a huge file uh, containing uh, scale variables. So be with me. Uh, before I start my video, let me remind you that if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kind do, kindly uh, press the subscription button and uh, do not forget to click on bell icon so that you can get notification about other useful videos that I will upload soon for you. Thank you. Now, in order to do the analysis, uh, I'll go to SPSS. Here I have a data file, and this is a very big file. It contains 24,238 observations. So this is quite a big file. And uh, if you like to analyze uh, data in such a big file, then it's uh, very difficult. But thanks to softwares, statistical softwares, uh, especially the SPSS, which is uh, very useful for analyzing uh, cross-sectional data. Uh, so in this video, I am going to uh, show you uh, how to convert the raw data into a group data. Uh, this is age and this is in year, so this is a, a scale variable or a quantitative variable. Uh, similarly, income, this is also a quantitative or a scale variable. So I am taking one of these variables and uh, show you how to uh, convert this uh, raw data into a group data. Uh, let me start with the age. Uh, go to analyze, descriptive and uh, let me make a frequency distribution for example. Usually we do not uh, make frequency table for uh, a scale variable uh, but uh, I am doing this here just to show that uh, it is meaningless and then I will show you how to convert that into a group data. So uh, here is the age. Let me send it here and uh, press OK. Now look at this. This is a frequency distribution of uh, age of household head. Now, if you see, there are 99 classes, but uh, one cannot get any idea. This information is not meaningful. Although this is a frequency distribution, I could make it, but this is not meaningful. So, now I am going to show uh, easily how to convert this raw data into uh, a group data. So, I will begin with transform and I will go to recode into different variables and uh, this age of household I will send it here this is my input variable and here is output variable so I will give a little bit different name let me call it age 1 now age 1 is my output variable that would be created so I'll change this and after that I will click on this old and new values now let me start with the values. I want to record this into a different variable. Let me do this one. And uh, since this is age variable, so I will click on this and I say up to 25. So I will add it here. So it means that those household heads uh, who have age of up to 25 years will be coded as 1. Second value is uh, 2 and this time I will give this range and I will say 25.1 to 40. 
uh, up to say for example uh, 35 uh, this is my second and uh, third should be 35.1 uh, up to 60 this is my third and uh, fourth is a uh, my fourth is a uh, 60 and above so this time i will click on this and i will say uh, i will say 60.1 which means that is, uh, um, above 60 so i will add this now if i continue uh, i will uh, say okay now the SPSS has created uh, a new variable. It shows here. This is group 1, this is group 2, this is group 3 and this is group 4. So uh, let me go to the data and uh, I am here. My new variable is here. This is my new variable I just created. So go to variable view and let me change the values. So the first value is 1 and this is up to 25 I will add this and I can say up to 25 up to 25 so I will add like this second is a 25.1 and uh, let me call this up to uh, 35 this should be my second and uh, third one is a uh, 35.1 35.1 up to 60 and uh, my final class or uh, group is a uh, uh, I'll call this above uh, 60 so about 60 is uh, in this group so I will add this now I also labeled these uh, four groups like this and now I can make a frequency distribution so in data view I will go to analyze and after analyze go to frequencies and uh, I will uh, go to my new variable this is my new variable that I converted into groups. So this time let me check what statistics do I need. Uh, let us suppose I want to do this and this and uh, continue and let me also uh, make a pie diagram with percentages. So I will continue and uh, if I click OK uh, now here is my here is my uh, group data and uh, the number of uh, household head household head uh, who are up to 25 years of age is 968 and there are 4829 household heads in this group and uh, there are uh, 14977 in this age group and 3,464 in uh, above 60 years of age. Maximum number of people fall uh, that is 85, uh, 61.8. That is almost 62% of them fall in this category. And uh, here is the pie diagram of the household uh, head age. Now this green shows those who fall in this age category between 35 and uh, 60 years. And uh, second number is uh, this. This is third, and uh, this is fourth number. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, SPSS uh, makes it easy for us to convert raw data into a group data. Now, this is the group data. But if you compare this with the this raw data, now look at the difference. This is meaningless. 
but when we converted this data into group this is very meaningless and it is a frequency distribution here are the groups these are the frequencies here is the total these are the percentages and these are the cumulative percentages so this uh, file contains 24238 uh, households quite a big sample so this is how we can uh, make a, a classification of a quantitative or scale variables in um, um, SPSS that is in gentlemen uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video uh, I hope you might have learned something new in this video if you like the video kindly hit the like button uh, share with your friends with others so that they can also get benefit of this uh, video and um, if you have any question you can uh, ask your question in your comments and uh, I will uh, try my level best uh, to give up with the suitable answer and uh, I hope uh, you found, found it interesting and uh, it is so easy that you can analyze your data yourself but if you still find any difficulty in analyzing your data regarding the conversion of raw data into a group data uh, you can uh, approach me through my email you can ask me questions uh, in the comments i'm here for you and uh, i want to benefit or to help the beginners uh, my postgraduate students my undergraduate students my junior colleagues uh, so that uh, they can uh, learn themselves how to analyze their data i thank you very much uh, for being with me and uh, i hope uh, we will see you in another video